This is why you comply. Driver, slowly lift up your shirt only for us to see your waistband. Leave your hands outside the car. We know there is a gun in there. If you reach in that car, you may get shot. So be careful. Do not reach in the car. Come back here. What happened? Is that your tag on the vehicle? Yeah, I'm from Arkansas, Little Rock. Is I'm that, a nurse. I've never okay, done anything in my life. Okay. I've never been in trouble in my life. Down, this relax. is scaring the hell out relax. of me. Relax. Man, I have that anxiety. Okay. okay. I'm trying. I'm trying. Relax. Okay. So, are y'all here out of town? Where you come? From? We're a tournament. We're in Super Six before a national. Okay. Look at my baby. Man, nothing's gonna happen to him. Nothing's gonna happen to him. As long as you're Everything, so, everything matches up perfect. That's on me. Explain everything. Yeah, I know. I just know. get it figured out. Listen, bro, we just here for a basketball tournament, bro. We, we just do? learned. We just learned right now. That's why we stopped. Come on, man. Don't do this to my son, bro. Come on, man. I'm a, ba I'm a basketball coach, bro. I don't no, no, it's okay. Look, listen. Look at this, bro. No, listen. No. Listen, bro, we we are legit. I'm a basketball coach. I got concealed carry and everything, no, 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 bro. That's, that's why we told you. Yeah, I put a gun on my son for no reason, guys. So, it looks like I made a mistake. So I ran at AZ for Arizona instead of AR, and that's what happened. And you can also have to go away. So I made a mistake. Um, well, just yeah. listen, though. It, it could have went all wrong for us, though. What right. do you mean by that? I'm just saying, though. One day, because like I say, I, I dropped my phone here. They yelled out, don't move, or we a shoot. Then I dropped my phone. If I would have went to reach for my phone, we could have all got killed. This is why you comply, folks. Simply, it's as simple as this. Now, he's absolutely right. That that could have gone all bad. This was one of those situations where the officers made a legitimate mistake. Seems like in this situation, as the officer is running the plate, she types in an AZ for Arizona, and then she types in the license plate number. And obviously, there was some type of hit that came back that probably showed that this vehicle was armed and dangerous. Some of you guys are probably saying, how are you assuming that that's what happened? I'm assuming because there have been times where I've ran plates uh, and either the plate is inter uh, inserted wrong into the system by somebody else. Maybe an officer makes a typo while they're doing uh, you know, the typing in the plate. There's so many different things that can happen and you might get the wrong hit. So the officers react as based on the information that they're getting that the, the vehicle is armed and dangerous. There might be uh, somebody that's inside that vehicle that has a weapon. And so they're going to treat this as a high risk traffic stop. Now, that officer recognized her mistake. But I want you to also recognize that this is a terrifying situation as a family. You think I got yeah, think about it. I'm a dad. I have three kids. If officers pull me over and they have guns out, my kids are going to be terrified. Even though their dad is a police officer, they're going to be terrified if they see guns pointed at them. So the family has every right to feel like they're terrified. And like he said, what happens if something did go wrong? Let's, what happens if something you reach or you reach the wrong way or whatever it is and, you know, somebody, you know, gets shot. But like I said at the beginning of this video, this is why compliance is so key, because if you notice throughout it, the officers messed up. They admitted that. But because this family complied, did what the officers told them to do, they were actually able to settle this all out, figure it out. So that way they went home at the end of the day. And if they're still upset about it, they can complain to a supervisor. This is why, this is why compliance is so key. Where people go off road is that, hey, let's just say that this family did it another way where they're like, hey, we're not doing anything. There's no reason these officers should be pulling us over. There's no reason that our guns should be pointed at us. And so they let's just say they d decide to go off the hinges and go off the handles. That creates a dangerous situ for, situation for the officers simply because now they're thinking that, hey, you know what, uh, the, the, these guys probably do have a gun or they are probably armed. And in this case, the guy was armed. He had a concealed carry license. And so... Uh, this video, uh, as, as tragic as it is for that family, it demonstrates nicely why compliance is so key. Because at the end of the day, that family went home, the officers went home, and everybody survives. Let's watch the end of this because I think what happens at the end of this is actually kudos to the officers in the department. Again, I'm not trying to, you know, put the officers on a pedestal, but I think this would this is good. Anytime you see this in law enforcement, let's watch the rest of the video. They're able to shake hands, walk away. Now that that's not to say that they're not gonna file a complaint later or whatever it may be, but that's what human beings do. 
Human beings, they recognize when somebody makes a mistake and we walk away civilized. The time of the stop is not the time to argue. I tell that to so many people, and this is what it should look like. When a mistake is made by law enforcement, be able to at least comply so that way you, you can tell them that the mistake has been made and you still walk away at the end of it. And as officers, hey, it's a reminder for us. We always got to be on our P's and Q's. We got to be dotting every I and crossing every T because one mistake could cost somebody their life. <laughs>